This video is brought to you by Bootsik FDB. Go check them out for all your gaming needs. Howdy Easterlingers, hope you're having a good day. So I'm finally at the Walkers and they are going to be given a nice primer with some Ice Charm Primer by Scale 75. Yep, if you don't have any spray cans or anything like that, you can use this brush on primer. It's also good in an airbrush. It has a very, very light blue to it, almost like a cold um, coloring to it, So, which is great uh, for speed paints or contrast paints. And we're going to be speed painting these walkers with contrast paints and we're starting on shades as well and we're starting off with mortarian grime for all their faces and their skin and their hands and all that so i'm just showing you two models right now with the mortarian grime and don't worry it is very light right now but what we're going to do at the end is going to bring that out even more and make them look even more zombie like but i found this mortarian grime was better than like plague bearer flesh or uh, what is it malignant green from the army painter and stuff like that just to make it a little different you just go with a shade and then when having that ice blue color underneath it actually pops out more like a really good undead face and you can see it here so we're gonna be showing you all five models uh, how I painted every single one of them so this is different models in the base box so in the core box you're gonna get five different models so here's the first one we're starting off with some Tyron blue shade uh, this is going to be going over his undershirt here or the shirt that's underneath his vest. Uh, again, we're sticking with very with a lot of shades in this because I wanted that ice color to pop through a bit more. White would do the same effect with a shade, but I found having that blue undertone a bit would make it just a little bit more... Um, I don't know, give it a little more cooler effect. I got us dunes now. We're doing that for his vest, so he's got like a leathery vest. And I will be using a lot actually pretty much every different color I can think of like I don't use at all the same color on any of these miniatures now there are 40 walkers to paint and to, to be honest I have not painted them all at all I've started a bit but it is long uh, basilicatum gray now for the pants and this is great on top of that ice charm I find that the contrast paints look great on this I'm probably gonna use some speed paints on the other ones to try them out too to see how the ice charm works on that I'm also gonna use some other uh, primers like skeleton bone or necrotic flesh and I'm gonna use spray cans I might use some airbrush too but you know and it's so like I said there's 40 walkers in this core box and uh, you know doing each one like this is, is time-consuming but if you're gonna batch paint you might as well just take the same color and go all over them I don't do that I like to have all my zombies different at least they look different on the table it's not like all these pink dresses or whatever and now we're using some wildwood here on the boots or the shoes and his belt there. And I actually forgot the belt that was protruding out of his shirt in the back on this guy. Uh, so in the end, I just tell myself, ah, you know what, he had a gray belt on. <laughs> or a nice blue, an ice blue, you know, very light belt. <laughs> so whatever. <laughs> it needs to happen. So this is the second model. This is an old farmer, I'd say, you know. Or like, uh, I don't know, what do you call this guy? Anyways, we're starting off with a little bit of uh, Militarum Green uh, on his uh, shirt on the top part here. Uh, this is perfect, I find. I'm going to match up perfectly with the pants underneath. We're going to have all sorts of cool colors going on these zombies. And you know, it's kind of funny because I didn't put blood on the... I think the runners didn't get any blood and the brutes didn't get any blood because I found they already looked very zombie-ish. Whereas these ones, if you paint them really nicely, they could just look like villagers or townsfolk. You know, like they if you put a nice paint on their face, you can make them look like they're just miserable people that are walking around. So Poxwalker is next for his pants. Uh, this is a very interesting kind of greenish blue color and I found it matched well with the shirt. Um, yeah, Garagak Sewer now for his boots. And I'm going to be also using this on his uh, suspenders and belt as well. Uh, but the Garagak Sewer gives a nice leathery look to those boots. Uh, it's a nice darkish brown, but not too dark. You know, it's like a snake bite leather with an extra bit of, of dark into it. Like maybe some black pink kind of thing. You could have probably mixed snake bite leather and some uh, um, black Templar and maybe get this color. I don't know. I don't really do much mixing of paints. Uh, we're going to use some Soul Blight Gray on this old man's beard and hair. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do the same thing on the older, on the other ones, but anyways, Nasdrag Yellow for his scarf. And there you go. 
All right, moving on to third model now. We're going to use some Griff Charger Gray on this guy's pants. And this looks like he was a, a gunslinger before he became an undead. Uh, so some... Um, Griff Charger Gray on those pants, and as you can see again, that ice charger. Now, I know it doesn't show much because uh, my lighting is maybe too bright. Uh, a lot of you have noticed that my lighting may be a bit off to show the actual colors. Yes, I'm sorry about that. I'm just, it's hard to work with great lighting when you don't have the budget for, like, an expensive lamp that costs almost $200, like a lot of miniature painters have. I go with little dollar store, and I got some from Amazon, some lights and stuff like that. But, you know, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's good enough. Um, using some Nasdreg yellow now for his hair and his mustache. Some snake bite leather on the boots. <clears throat> and also put this on his gun holster. And we're also going to put this on his uh, belt as well. He's got two of them. Uh, one hanging on his gun, uh, like one holding his gun and one holding his pants up. So just make sure you get both of those. You're going to see them in a second here. Um, and then there's one like sort of going into his shirt. Or no, that's not him. It was the other one. Alright, we're moving on to the fourth model now we're using some drukai violet uh on her bonnet and we're also using this on the um what do you call that underneath there the uh, the slip right i think it's a slip underneath the gown like underneath the dress it's like the or the fluff no not the fluff my god i don't know magos purple for the top part of her dress now the other ones i did paint all of these ones the other seven of these ones and frankly i did them all in one color on top of the uh I think it was yellow. Remember, I used yellow as the uh, tester for air paints and stuff like that. So I put some contrast paints on top of the yellow, and some of them turned out okay, some of them not so much. But, anyways, shyish purple now for the bottom part of the dress. Again, the contrast paints are working greatly on top of this ice charm. So, if you don't have gray here, if you don't have Wraith Bone, uh, it's too cold in your area to use a shaker can. You can go get this uh, Scale 75 Ice Charm Primer. They also have Bone White, I think it's called. And another one, I think some sort of gray one. I don't remember what it was called, but uh, you can use it as brush on or even as a spray paint, as an airbrush. Uh, and I used it with the airbrush and it came out looking really nice. It was really awesome. Paint, it covered really well. So, but brush on works just as well. I've used it in one of my previous videos a long time ago. Zrukai Violet. Now we're coming back because I forgot the, uh, the inside part of that dress there. So we'll come back and do that. Rattling Grime now for her boots or her one boot, but there is a little boot showing off in the back underneath her dress here. I hadn't picked that up until the end, so I was like, oh no, I gotta do that. But I would seen it on the other ones. I'm also doing her hair as well. All right, we're moving on to some Briar Queen Chill on this last model. Uh, so hopefully you stuck around for all five models to see how I painted them up. Thank you very much. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and consider joining. I'm hoping to get a goal of 15 members by the end of February 2023. So if you're enjoying what I'm doing and you wanna support me as a hobbyist, uh, please select one of the tiers. I mean, the cheapest is three bucks. It's less than a cup of coffee, you know, especially these days. And it goes towards uh, helping me get my hobby. I'd really love to get a 3D printer to start printing out some stuff for my games. Imperial Fist now for uh, that bonnet on her head or whatever. No, I don't know what that is. It's like flowers of some sort. Now we're doing a trim of her dress with some Aethermatic Blue. And you saw I also used some Apothecary White on her hair. Uh, but now we're using that uh, Aethermatic Blue, just doing those little trims, little ruffles there. And even if it mixes in a bit into that other, like that Briar Queen Chill, uh, it does a great job covering anyways, and I get the under part as well. Now, I wasn't sure if this was like a bridal dress or what, uh, but she has garter belts here, on, so I'm putting Volopus Pink on that. And we're using some Black Legion on those big uh, boots of hers. Um, now... In the Old West, I didn't know if they had other colors of boots like these women. I don't know if they... I'd have to look at some pictures to see what I can find online or like some old movies and see what they used to do or Old West movies. Anyway, so here it is before the final touches. Here's all five models all painted up. They're dry and look how nice they turned out. But again, they're so nice they look like they could be actual like just townsfolk people hanging around the Old West. So I take some Mortarian Grime and I go over the entire miniature. So this is going to make their skin pop even more, and it's going to give them this really grimy look. Very swamp looking, almost like really dead like. I find it does a great job. The green just brings out more of the old decaying look. Uh, I didn't want to go too dark like a sepia or something like that, but this, I just found that this did a great job. And I added some Blood of the Blood Gods on there, splattered them up, finished off their base just with some paint there. And there you have it. There's the five models all painted up. You can use these or do your own color schemes. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.